After last week's Midwest polar vortex deep freeze, the Western Michigan men's basketball team got back into action, looking for their first conference win of the season. Last Saturday at Central Michigan, sophomore guard Mike Flowers poured in a game-high 27 points, and senior center Seth Dugan added 18, but the Chippewas pulled away in the second half to win 85-64. Then Tuesday night in Kalamazoo, the Broncos faced Bowling Green for the second time this season. Mike Flowers, Seth Dugan, and Patrick Emelian all reached double figures, but the first place Falcons held on for an 85-72 win on the road. I'm Robin Huck. Coming up, head coach Steve Hawkins joins me as we talk Bronco basketball. It's Bronco Review after this timeout. Bronco Review is a production of Western Michigan University Athletics and WMU Media Services and is brought to you in part by... Greenleaf Trust, financial security from generation to generation. Trust is in their name for a reason. They've earned it. Home. It's so much more than just a structure. It's where life happens. Whether you're a first-time home buyer or always on the move, getting pre-qualified for a home loan from Arbor Financial can give you exactly the advantage you need to secure the home of your dreams. Our experts are there to walk you through the process so that you can focus less on your loan and more on making memories. Apply online at arborfcu.org. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Equal housing lender. Are you considering home improvements? You should consider BlackBerry. BlackBerry has completed several home improvement projects in our neighborhood, so when we were ready for 20 new replacement windows, we called BlackBerry. They completed the project on time and their workmanship was outstanding. Our friends are amazed and we love the transformation of our home both inside and out with our new windows from BlackBerry Home Improvement Specialists. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Auto Group. We know that car buying is a journey, not just a destination. We know that we need to be there each step of the way for you through parts, sales, service, through your entire ownership experience. At Maple Hill Auto Group, we look at every customer, not as a single purchase, but rather as a start to a journey that we hope spans generations. Maple Hill Auto Group, for a journey like no other. 1916, Warren Miller chose Auto Owners Insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who put their trust in us. And to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Nulty Insurance is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Bounces off to Davis down the lane to Dugan for the dunk. Said Dugan throws it down on the dish from Davis. Seth Dugan with two of his points in a game against the Bowling Green Falcons on Tuesday night in Kalamazoo. Seth's been playing very well, and the Broncos trying to get that first victory, but they played the best team in the Mid-American Conference Tuesday night, the Bowling Green Falcons, who were coming off a big win over nationally ranked Buffalo with Coach Hawkins, and uh, Bowling Green's for real, Coach. Oh, my gosh, are they? And, and speaking of Seth, I mean, where would we be without him, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, Seth has been terrific all year long. And, and Bowling Green, they have it all. Uh, you know, they're, they're an outstanding shooting team from the perimeter. Guys like Dylan Fry, uh, they've got big size inside. Uh, guys like D DiMaggio Wiggins, uh, they've got great complementary players, just an outstanding team. All right, let's go to University Arena. Great to be inside after the deep freeze that the Kalamazoo area and all of the Midwest had been in for the previous week. Yeah, actually cost us uh, a game uh, there and there as well. So uh, we made it through it. I know my wife wasn't overly happy about it. We had the kids all week long uh, with, with canceled school, but it is what it is. Pep Band was there. They do a great job getting the crowd revved up. Here's the introductions with the flashing lights, and uh, it's quite a spectacle when you come to Bronco basketball. Uh, there's no place I'd rather be on game night than University Arena. I just love our atmosphere there. All right, the tip's up, and Bowling Green wins it. Uh, we saw these guys a couple of weeks ago, Hawk, and uh, they've got just about everything you need to win a championship, but Seth Dugan there got through for a layup. Yeah, I, I would take Seth over anybody in the league. I'm sure I'm biased. Um, but I would take Seth over any other center 
uh, in the league, and uh, he's been playing outstanding for us on both ends of the floor. Not just uh, not just the offensive end, but also the defensive end. That young man's coming along from Toronto, Ontario, Patrick Emelian. Patrick had a terrific game for us last night. He got his uh, got a start, took advantage of it, and um, you know, shot the ball real well. He's been playing outstanding defense for us and rebounding the ball. Then last night, uh, uh, or excuse me, on Tuesday night, he had uh, he also had uh, nine rebounds to go along with his points. Shot the ball well from three. Mike Flowers coming off 27 in the Central game. Uh, kept it going, had 24 in this one against the Falcons. Yeah, Mike's been outside, especially early in the game. You know, we really, when we really need to take the lid off the basket, uh, Mike is a confident player, you know, and oftentimes gets us off to a good start. Uh, and, you know, we, we kind of go back and forth um, between good starts and every once in a while a bad start. But, but Mike gets us off to good starts more, more, more often than not. That's Kiwanis Wilkins driving to the basket. That's where I really like his game. You know, Squeaky, we've been after him to get more aggressive, you know, and everything. And Squeaky's, you know, Squeaky, I thought Squeaky was outstanding as well uh, on Tuesday night. Much more aggressive, uh, getting to the rim, as you talked about, Rob, and that is his game. He's a facilitator. Um, we need to look him to score more than pass. Uh, that, that's, that's where we got to get him if we're going to be successful here in the second half of the season. All right, DJ Houston, you're a Los Angeles connection and uh, a nice uh, dish inside by Davis for the dunk to Dugan. You, that, that part right there, that little segment right there is what we need more of, and that is guys to just play, you know, instead of worrying about, instead of worrying about what offense we're in, instead of worrying about, you know, what pattern we're supposed to be running with the set play, we need guys to play more free. That was a good example of that. Both of those clips were good examples of that. Yeah, we saw Josh Davis getting a hoop. He got a little bump there, too. Wanted to foul, but didn't get it. Here's the battle in the post between the uh, bigs for both teams, and then the kick out and the three-pointer. Yeah, kick out, three-pointer, um, playing the game from the inside out. We also got a brief glimpse there of, of Mac. That's our guy from the program. He's an Afghanistan uh, 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 vet. And, he has served several tours over there and was joining us for the game last night also. All right, Mike Flowers out at the top. He is so good out there in the perimeter. Yeah, and, and you know, Mike is such a different point guard than, than Thomas Wilder was. A lot, a lot of our fans were used to Thomas. And in that same situation, shot clock winding down, you know, Thomas would get to the rim and find a way. To, uh, he was very elusive. Mike is a guy that looks for opportunities for space where he could get his three-point shot off. Here's a nice block by Seth Dugan on DiMaggio Wiggins. And uh, this is a really good Bowling Green rebounding team. In fact, they're number two in the nation, Hawk and rebounding. And you were right there with them on the glass. We spent a lot of time uh, in the previous two days leading up to the game talking about rebounding, working on rebounding, um, working on the, the, the keys to the game, turnovers. Unfortunately, uh, we made too many of those. But transition defense and rebounding and turnovers were the things we were concerned most about. This is late in the uh, first half, and you got a three-pointer from Squeaky Wilkins. Yeah, we needed that. Uh, I mean, the, the previous play had broken down. Actually, they had fouls to give. Uh, Bowling Green did, and, and um, uh, you know, we were put in a position where we had a really short clock there at the end, so we wanted to take a shot before they could foul us. So the Broncos uh, trailing at the half following that uh, Wilkins three-pointer, 43-36, the Falcons on top. When we come back, we'll take a look at the second half highlights of the Broncos and the Bowling Green Falcons Tuesday night in Kalamazoo. Right now, this time out on Bronco Radio. It's Galesburg Ford's 20th anniversary, and we're celebrating in a big way. Since 1999, Galesburg Ford has been working to satisfy our customers. With great Ford cars and trucks. And the superior service you expect. Our Galesburg Ford family is built Ford proud. So for your next car, truck, or SUV, come to Galesburg Ford. Galesburg Ford is a leader in customer satisfaction. Our employees are factory trained and certified to assure your service exceeds your expectations. Galesburg Ford, not too far for your next car. You trust Dunchy Body and Frame for all your collision repair work, but they offer so much more, like paintless dent repair, brakes and wheel alignment, and perfect paint matching. Dunchy also works with all insurance companies to make sure your vehicle is restored to pre-accident condition. So for personal service and high quality workmanship, call Dunchy Body and Frame at 375-2100 or visit their website, dunchybody.com. Dunchy Body and Frame, part of your community since 1973. Home. 
It's so much more than just a structure. It's where life happens. Whether you're a first-time home buyer or always on the move, getting pre-qualified for a home loan from Arbor Financial can give you exactly the advantage you need to secure the home of your dreams. Our experts are there to walk you through the process so that you can focus less on your loan and more on making memories. Apply online at arborfcu.org. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Equal housing lender. Schedule online anytime. Now you can easily schedule an appointment with Ascension Care Teams. No matter where you are or what you're up to. If you're a new patient or if you've been here before, we have appointments available at locations near you. Find your appointment online anytime at GetAscensionMichiganCare.com. This new Little Caesars Thin Crust Pizza is so loaded with pepperoni and cheese, I don't believe there is any Thin Crust. Pepperoni, 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 cheese, 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 crust. Found it! There is a crispy crust under all that pepperoni. Pick up the most cheese and pepperoni you can fit on a large thin crust pizza for the nation's best price at just six bucks. Pizza, pizza. Back to a million on the drive to the hole, put it up, scores it. Oh, Patrick, a million went right through the Bowling Green defense to the rim, cross it over from his left to his right and spins it in off the window. Patrick Emelian through the Bowling Green defense to the rim for a layup in the second half. Hawk, I picked that as the play of the game for the Broncos on Tuesday night, and uh, it's good to see Patrick going to the rim. Yeah, a very pretty play, you know, and, and Patrick is a guy that has been coming on for us uh, a lot this year, and you see his improvement weekly. Uh, you know, that's a, just another example of it. Very aggressive last night. Let's go back to University Arena for a second half highlights of Tuesday night's Western Michigan. Bowling Green game. There's President Montgomery. He is always there courtside pulling for the Broncos. Yeah, yeah, full of personality. He's a huge fan of, of all Bronco athletics and everything that's Western Michigan. It's great to see him. All right, Broncos moving the ball, and here's Emelian in the corner for a three. He's got that inside-outside game for a long guy coach. He's going to be a big, big problem in the match for opponents. Yeah, I mean, one of the best freshmen I think that we've had in a long time. And, and, you know, he has a very high ceiling. Uh, you know, that's, that's part of the thing with him, and that's part of the reason we took him. Uh, we were actually recruiting somebody else up in Canada uh, when, I, when I had a chance to see him. And after, after some of his recruiting had fallen off on a school he thought he might be going to, and uh, so we were able to jump in on him, and I said, this is a guy that we really need. There's a Squeaky going to the rim again, and uh, that's his game. I love it when he does that. It is. You know, and Squeaky, for a big fella, is pretty light on his feet. Uh, you know, that's, that's something that we need him to do, be more aggressive. And there's another example. That wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't a shot that I really wanted Pat to take. He kind of forced something that wasn't there. He was just fortunate enough to get to the free throw line. Bronco dance team performing there during a timeout. Uh, all part of the festivities of a Bronco game at University Arena. And now back to the action with... The Broncos with their motion offense finding somebody open and that's Patrick again and he was nailing the perimeter jumper. When we moved the ball real well last night I thought we had a lot of good looks uh, and, and that was uh, yeah, that was a segment where we did move the ball real well. Here's a tip in by Seth Dugan in the and one. This guy's not only a great player he's an outstanding student at Western Michigan. He may be the best student in all of MAC basketball. He is. Uh, statistically, literally, he's the best student in, in the MAC uh, when it comes to basketball. And that was an outstanding play. The kids did a great job of executing a really short shot clock on a baseline out of bounds. And, and uh, although Patrick missed the shot, he kept things alive. And uh, Seth, Seth cleaned that up. Great back cut by Josh Davis. And he gets a layup from Seth Dugan. Now the Broncos working again with their ball screen offense, and there's Patrick going to the rim on that play we just saw earlier. Yeah, and that's that's something again that we've been after here a little bit is to is to get guys through the tiny crevices that uh, that the league gives us. Um, you know, the, too much of the freshmen when they start to drive, they see bodies there, and, and instead of 
the space that's there. So when they see a body there on their drive, they try and uh, they just pull up or they pass the ball. Um, instead of seeing the tiny space that's there and attacking that. We saw Seth Dugan uh, going to work there on uh, Wiggins. Those two guys went at it all night long. That was a physical battle in the paint. Yeah, I'm sure both guys were pretty sore on Wednesday morning. Uh, <laughs> you know, they, they did go at it pretty hard. And, and uh, two, two, two heavyweights standing in the middle of the ring uh, going off of that. Broncos still grinding here late in the game. And uh, here you see Josh Davis getting fouled. And it was a physical game. There were, there were a lot of those. Yeah, there was a lot. There were a lot of bodies on the floor. I think Bowling Green is one of the most physical teams in the league. They, uh, they have a bunch of healthy guys that are big boys. They don't march a lot of small guys out there on the court, and, and uh, they, they use it. They're very physical. I really like the way uh, Michael Huger coaches the team. Uh, they rebound the ball. They're defensive-oriented. They play the way we like to play, and, uh, and I was proud of our guys' effort in this game. Uh, they really match their physicality. We're a little undermanned, but they match their physicality. Yeah, Bowling Green is really deep. You're not with three starters out of the lineup all season long, and Jared Prinney didn't play in this game because of an injury, so you were down four guys that would normally be playing, and that's a tough assignment for the other guys. You have to log a lot of minutes against a quality opponent like this. It, it is, you know, and, and uh, we know what we're dealing with, um, but I've been proud of the effort. You know, I've been proud of the fight that, that has taken place there, and uh, the guys are battling. You know, the guys are battling. The fact of the matter is we have some guys playing complementary roles, uh, or guys that should be playing complementary roles that are playing very key roles right now. Yep. Bowling Green wins at 85-72. to 72. Coming up next, we'll go back to last Saturday. The Broncos and their arch rivals, the Central Michigan Chippewas, going at it in Mount Pleasant. We'll take a look at those highlights next on Bronco Review. Does your home need a facelift? You should call BlackBerry. For over 35 years, BlackBerry's been improving the look of homes throughout West Michigan with new roofing and siding. Right now, save 50% off the installation of new roofing and siding from BlackBerry, featuring the Owens Coring Duration Shingle and Mastic Vinyl Siding. 50% off installation of roofing and siding and pay no interest for 18 months. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. More devices, more apps, more streaming. Today, we need more speed than ever to stay connected, so we're making the best in-home Wi-Fi experience even better. We're giving our customers faster speeds and including them in our most popular plans at no additional cost. We've increased our speeds 17 times in 17 years, so you can keep streaming, sharing, and connecting like never before. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Home. It's so much more than just a structure. It's where life happens. Whether you're a first-time home buyer or always on the move, getting pre-qualified for a home loan from Arbor Financial can give you exactly the advantage you need to secure the home of your dreams. Our experts are there to walk you through the process so that you can focus less on your loan and more on making memories. Apply online at arborfcu.org. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Bank here, grow here. Equal housing lender. Maple Hill is proud to be a Subaru dealer. Subaru, it is like no other. Because of the 35 miles per gallon that you get in the summer and the all-wheel drive in the winter, the five-star crash test ratings, the recommendations year after year from the best consumer magazines out there, own it and you'll say, I love my Subaru. At Maple Hill Subaru, it is a journey like no other. Well, last Saturday, the Broncos took on their arch rival, the Central Michigan Chippewas, up in Mount Pleasant. And during Coach Hawkins' tenure over the last 15 years or so, the Broncos have dominated Central Michigan in basketball. So they were uh, waiting for an undermanned Western Michigan team that is shorthanded with injuries. And uh, it was quite a battle there in the first half, Hawk. You were right with them. Well, I thought Central came out with tremendous energy, as you would expect in a rivalry game. And, and uh, they, hit, they hit some threes early. Uh, I think it got the speed of the game, got our guys a little uh, off track there at the beginning. But the, after the game settled down, we settled down. And uh, we cut the lead to four at halftime uh, after they got out to a 12, 13-point lead. Uh, 
And then uh, right after half, we scored the first bucket, had it down to two. So, uh, and from there, we had a ball game. Yeah, Mike Flowers got two early fouls. You had to take him out of the game. But then when things were starting to get away, you put Mike back in, and he finished with 16 first-half points, Hawk, and got you back in the game. Yeah, he did. You know, and I thought some of the guys played real well um, coming off the bench. Uh, I, I thought our starters uh, were pretty good you know, throughout. We battled some foul trouble up there, uh, as we did in the Bowling Green game. Um, but the uh, typical fashion with this group, uh, they put it all on the line. I mean, they really... Uh, they really competed, really battled. Um, there was just a couple of stretches in the game where it got away from us, a couple of 10-2 to two runs um, that took place over about two and a half minutes on each of them. Chippewas have uh, some new faces in their lineup, a couple of transfers. Let's go to McGurk Arena and take a look at some highlights from the Western Michigan-Central Michigan game last Saturday. The Chippewas would win it 85-64 to despite a game-high 27 from Mike Flowers and the 18 and 8 rebounds from Seth Dugan. Yeah, they, and, and I think their press bothered us some. You know, I thought Central had a really good game plan. We'll have to adjust to this uh, the next time we play them uh, later in the year, the last game of the year, as a matter of fact. You know, they got the ball out of Mike's hands, and after they got the ball out of Mike's hands, they made it difficult for him to get it back. They really made Mike work. Here's Flowers at the top. That's his favorite spot right there at the top of the key. Yeah, any, but anywhere from the three-point line and beyond, he, he likes that spot. It, you know, and if you, you can't go underneath ball screens with Mike, that, that's some of, that kind of happened. And, and uh, when you do that, he'll get a shot off. William Boye Richard right there with that left-handed stroke of his. He is number one in the Mid-American Conference, Hawk, in three-point shooting percentage. Yeah, just, a, just a tremendous shooter, you know, and puts in a lot of work. Uh, our, our Canadian connection uh, does a terrific job of, of the amount of work that they put in. in the, uh, at, 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 on Tuesday night after the ball game against Bowling Green, I walked back out there. Patrick Emilian's out there taking more shots. He's something else, really works hard, all these guys do. I really like the percentage on that last shot by Seth Tukin there that we saw in the Central Michigan game. Those usually go in. Those are high percentage <laughs> shots. Those are the ones we, we, we have to work harder to get. Well, the Broncos will look for some more of those out of Seth and the rest of the guys when they hit the road. Take on the Ball State Cardinals Saturday in Muncie. We'll preview that one next on Bronco Review. Introducing Little Caesars Large Hot and Ready Five Meat Feast with five delicious meat toppings. One, two, three, four, five. Including pepperoni, sausage, bacon, beef, and ham. Only $9 at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Home. It's so much more than just a structure. It's where life happens. Whether you're a first-time home buyer or always on the move, Getting pre-qualified for a home loan from Arbor Financial can give you exactly the advantage you need to secure the home of your dreams. Our experts are there to walk you through the process so that you can focus less on your loan and more on making memories. Apply online at arborfcu.org. Arbor Financial Credit Union. Thank here, grow here. Equal housing lender. It's Galesburg Ford's 20th anniversary and we're celebrating in a big way. Since 1999, Galesburg Ford has been working to satisfy our customers with great Ford cars and trucks. And the superior service you expect. Our Galesburg Ford family is built Ford proud. So for your next car, truck, or SUV, come to Galesburg Ford. Galesburg Ford is a leader in customer satisfaction. Our employees are factory trained and certified to assure your service exceeds your expectations. Galesburg Ford, not too far for your next car. The people who accomplish so much are always striving to do even more. Now, with our help, they will. It's time for more. What do you do when you discover something great? Well, you tell your friends and family about it, right? Well, that's exactly how Lake Michigan Credit Union became the largest credit union in Michigan. With one of the highest checking account rates in the nation, and guarantee low mortgage rates, word is spreading fast about Lake Michigan Credit Union. Earn more when you save, pay less when you borrow. Lake Michigan Credit Union, the best place for your money. How much did it cost? 
It's four slices of deep, deep dish and a Pepsi for just $5. Pizza, pizza. Rebounded by Amelia. Patrick, run into the hook, put it up on a run, no good. Dugan with a putback, scores and the foul. Seth Dugan tipped it back in off the miss by Patrick. Seth Dugan crashing the boards and coming up with the uh, tip in and the and one in that Bowling Green game on Tuesday night in Kalamazoo. The Broncos are looking for more of that from Seth and the rest of the guys when they take on Ball State Saturday in Muncie. This is a veteran Cardinal team, kind of like the rest of the Mac, Hawk. <laughs> Every time we turn around, it seems like we're playing against a bunch of seniors and juniors. They're an outstanding team. They've battled some of their own injuries this year, and uh, I think they're, they're, they're back at full strength. Uh, they picked up a big win Tuesday night uh, at uh, Northern Illinois in a very strange game. Um, but Trey Moses uh, inside, Taylor Persons on the outside, Tajay Teague, uh, these are guys that, uh, that have led them and just an outstanding team. Yeah, Taylor Persons... Yeah, you know, he looks like a guy you would run into at the Y playing senior league, and then he gets 22 on you. I mean, he's that kind of player. He is. You know, he, he, he just knows how to play the game, you know, and he's hyper-competitive, uh, the kind of guy that you'd love to have on your team, but the kind of guy you hate playing against. You know, and then Trey Moses inside, uh, he's, he, he can battle with Seth. You know, and he's got the big beard, and he, he looks like the kind of guy you'd run into at the Y. But at noontime, the, you right. know, as well with the, with the, with the older guys. Noon there, ball. The noon ball. The, we call it the NBA, the Noontime <laughs> Basketball Association. <laughs> well, after the Ball State game, then the Broncos are home three times next week. They'll play Tuesday at home against Northern Illinois. Thursday in a makeup game of the Kent State Golden Flashes. That's a 5 o'clock tip on Thursday. And then back home on Saturday, the 16th, against Miami. So, Hawk, three straight at home in one week. Wow. Yeah, uh, that'll be a big week for us. Uh, you know, three straight at home. It's, it's kind of an NBA kind of schedule. And, and uh, we just planned everybody's Valentine's Day for them. Uh, <laughs> they can come watch us at 5 o'clock. That'll be it. And then go out for dinner. And we'll there have we the highlights next week on our next Bronco Review. For Coach Hawkins and our staff, I'm Robin Hook. Thanks for watching. See you next week on Bronco Review.